Well, let me tell you why I think it's superior. Um, it's digital. And because it's digital, you can have, you can simulate a neural network on one piece of hardware. Yeah. And you can simulate exactly the same neural network on a different piece of hardware. So you can have clones of the same intelligence. Now, you could get this one to go off and look at one bit of the internet, and this other one to look at a different bit of the internet. And while they're looking at these different bits of the internet, they can be syncing with each other so they keep their weights the same, the connection strings the same, weights of connection strings. So this one might look at something on the internet and say, oh, I'd like to increase this strength of this connection a bit. And it can convey that information to this one so it can increase the strength of that connection a bit based on this one's experience. When you say the strength of the connection, you're talking about learning. That's learning, yes. Yeah. Learning consists of saying, instead of this one giving 2.4 votes for whether that one should turn on, we'll have this one give 2.5 votes for whether this one should okay. turn on. That would be a little bit of learning. So these two different copies of the same neural net are getting different experiences. They're looking at different data, but they're sharing what they've learned by averaging their weights together. And they can do that averaging at like, a, you can average a trillion weights. When you and I transfer information, we're limited to the amount of information in a sentence. And the amount of information in a sentence is maybe 100 bits. It's very little information. We're lucky if we're transferring like 10 bits a second. These things are transferring trillions of bits a second. So they're billions of times better than us at sharing information. And that's because they're digital and you can have two bits of hardware using the connection strengths in exactly the same way. We're analog and you can't do that. Your brain's different from my brain. And if I could see the connection strengths between all your neurons, it wouldn't do me any good because my neurons work slightly differently and they're connected up slightly differently. So when you die, all your knowledge dies with you. When these things die, suppose you take these two digital intelligences that are clones of each other and you destroy the hardware they run on. As long as you've stored the connection strength somewhere, you can just build new hardware that executes the same instructions. So it'll know how to use those connection strengths and you've recreated that intelligence. So they're immortal. We've actually solved the problem of immortality, but it's only for digital things.